guys took a look. So, just picked this up on uh, Craigslist for 70 bucks. It's actually a Gen 2 thermostat, but it's in the Gen 3 box. Up here in Big Bear, the cabin, and wanted to be able to control my heat remotely because uh, I rent this out when we're not here. And uh, sometimes they don't turn the heat down, so this thing could be gone for a week or so. It's 70 degrees, and nobody's even up here, so I wanted to be able to control it remotely. So I have a Williams, what I found out, what I, I didn't know what I had when I got up here, but this is a Williams uh, millivolt two-wire system. And so there's no voltage here. Well, there's a small amount of voltage here. I mean, like less than a volt. That's why they call it millivolt. I confirmed that with my fluke tester here. But uh, let me show you that real quick. So there's absolutely no power going to that thermostat, and I'll show you what I had to get to make it work. So went to the local hardware store, got some more wire, and I got this. Uh, so it's actually for a doorbell. And it can put out, this one can actually put out 16 and 24 volt. Um, they do actually make a two wire one that can put out 16 volt, but you should probably get the, the recommended is 24 volt. But uh, let me show you where I might get that on there. This is the closet behind the thermostat right there. And there's actually a couple different spots where I can, there's no light in here, I hope you can see. There's a AC outlet right there, which I can connect to and, or back there. Or I mean, excuse me, back there. And that's probably where, where I'm going to go, back there. Just because, uh, like I said, I do rent this out when we're not here, and I don't want a kid to come by and touch the, uh, I mean, it's it's not going to kill you, hit the hit low voltage, but it's not. it might be sort of annoying, and I don't want a kid to do that. So I'm going to try to put it as far away from where you can touch it as possible. And I have that wire. I'm going to run up over here. We'll get it going. So, yeah, like I said, the, the nest needs a, power supply since the since the the heater unit is not providing the power for it I have to hook up a come back. Alright so there it is this is a Gen 2 um, I kinda wanted this uh, stainless and black because that's actually my, matches my appliances so alright um, cool this is the little thing and it's cool that he actually gave me that Gen 3 box, but that's a little easy to connect the wires. Sorry, my kid's here with me. And then, it's cool, so I'll get that going, but I need to first get the powered on. Keep him of the plate, so. I don't think I'm gonna need that, though. Huh, the guy even gave us the screws. Yeah, 70 bucks, Craigslist. All right, so let's get this going. I take that off. Well, first, before I ever do that, I'm gonna put the AC adapter on. And then we'll get that going. Cool. All right, guys, got that AC outlet at. It. It's hot right now, so. But this is the kind of stuff I do for a living now. Actually, I built data centers, and uh, I actually have a low voltage contractor's license, so I'm actually licensed to do this kind of stuff. But uh, like I said, I don't do like home user. Actually, I do IT construction, so I build data centers. Um. But yeah, I don't really mess with the home user stuff, mainly business stuff. All right, uh, so I got this thing in there. I'm just going to push the wires through and connect them to the outlet right there on the other side. And that will give me the voltage I need for this. So I have the uh, adapter mounted. I don't know if you can see that. The light's pretty bad in there. And then it just comes around and feeds through. I'm just going to feed it and connect it to this outlet right here. So yeah, I think I will turn the power off for that just because uh, I might get a spark once I hook it to the uh, transformer. So, all right. All right, there we go. So I just got wired in into the actual outlet to give me power there. And, uh, all right. All right, so here are the instructions. So this thing can actually do eight volts, 16 volts, and 24 volts. So um, I could probably could have got the cheaper one, but the 16 volt one made it work, but I mean, they're preferred as, as 24 volts for the nest. So I don't got wire on the both outsides, but before I even do that, I'll take my uh, multimeter, make sure I'm even getting power before I go any further. I hope you can see that. I'm getting 29 volts. That's usually correct for 24 volt. It usually gives a little bit more. So if this was 16 volt, I'd probably be putting out somewhere in the 20s or upper. Uh, but that's typical for this. All right. 
Now I can actually run the wire back up through the existing hole. Right there. All right, so this thing is all you're doing is it with this two wire system is you're just closing the circuit. So that's power on, power off. And that little coil right there basically expands and creates a closed circuit. So on, off. So I might just take this off and it's low voltage, so I'm not gonna get shocked. So, all right. So that's, I wanna turn the heater on. Just turned on, that's it. All right. Ooh, looks like I got some paint issue there. Which is probably not gonna be covered. We'll see. Don't stand out so much, the rough edges. Try to blend it a little bit with some drywall mud I had. And then once it dries a little bit, I'm gonna put some paint on and hopefully that won't be so obvious. All right, so I got the thing mounted, it's level. Uh, so we, we were very concerned with them handling right. the basket. All right guys, so the actual heater, the millivolt heater wires go from the R W1 and RH. So those are the actual heater wires right there. And these are the actual 24 volt wires I'm hooking up right now. All right, so the C goes into the, uh, I mean, excuse me, the 24 volt wires. One goes into C, and the other one goes into RC. 24 volt wires, C, RC. I already hooked this up already just to see what would happen, but put that back on there. I got this weird thing on the wiring port. Let's see, done. Okay, so the heater turned on. I factory reset this guy. So I noticed that the guy I bought off was European. So it, it threw me off for a second. This is actually metric uh, Celsius. But as you can see, my heater goes on. So the wiring is correct and that's that's perfect right there. So I'm gonna factory reset this thing and start from scratch. But uh, and do Fahrenheit. Awesome. So the doorbell, 24 volt power adapter. Hey guys, take a look. Got on my phone here. This is thermostat. This is pretty cool, pretty slick. So what, what I wanted to do was the ability to turn this off in case I forgot to turn the heat off. I could do it remotely. I could see how hot it was. That's pretty cool. Takes a couple seconds, but cool, man. Cool product. So. I mean, it actually, the, the wiring only took me probably about an hour, if even that. The hardest part was just figuring out how to get this whole thing set up, you know, and the internet. Like, I had to rename my wireless network. So if you have any spaces in your uh, network name, like the uh, SID on your wireless, it doesn't like spaces. So you probably need to put a hyphen in there or just put, get rid of the spaces. So I was troubleshooting that for about 45 minutes, but I've run into that problem later products before. So like I said, I'm an IT guy, so... Alright guys, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Nest.